and welcome in to be our guest. Way back in 1905, there was a fella in Chicago that decided it'd be great to get a bunch of businessmen together for some bit of fellowship, but also to do some good in the community. He did it, and they formed an organization called Rotary. And you might say, Rotary, that's kind of a funny name. Well, back in those days, what they would do when they would have meetings is they would rotate around from business to business as they came together for their fellowship. That organization still has their headquarters in Evanston, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. But in Montgomery, one of the top Rotary Clubs in the United States is right here in our backyard. And today we have with us the current president, my good friend, Claire Wheel. Good to have you with us, Claire. Thank you. And I'm so impressed you know so much about Rotary. <laughs> well, that's all I had to do is Google. <laughs> I Google is very easy. Well, the neat thing about our Montgomery Club, you are correct. Rotary was founded in 1905. The Montgomery Rotary Club was founded in 1913. Wow. We were the 86th club in the entire country, uh, well, in the entire world. Hmm. And there are now over 33,000 clubs in over 200 com uh, countries. Wow. So it's gotten big. And uh, we got to get Hank into the picture absolutely. here. Absolutely. And Hank, you're the incoming president, Hank Hector. And right. you are the, uh, obviously, president-elect, as they president say. President-elect. Ready right. to come in. Right. And uh, the so other thing we should mention is there are a uh, million three uh, members of Rotary. Wow. And I was, uh, when I was over in India, it was interesting, on a Rotary friendship trip, they had a Rotaract club, which is the high, uh, college students mm -hmm. there, of 4,000. My goodness. One club. My goodness. So your club here is pretty good size, is it yeah, not? We're not quite 4,000. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we have about 125 members mm -hmm. currently. And what's great about our club, and because it's such an old club, we really have the leaders of Montgomery in our, in our club. We have leaders in government, in industry, business. association, and businesses, mm -hmm. which, you know, is wonderful. Well, that was the original, the, the original concept right. was to be able to fellowship amongst the business people. Basically to network, mm -hmm. and it is a great networking opportunity. For, for anyone who joins us. But mm -hmm. you've gone beyond the network because we have, Rotary we, is uh, Rotary is a part of the community. Mm -hmm. We we do fundraising for charity. We do international um, things internationally for charity, but we also do international fellowship. Hank, why don't you tell them about our international night? Yeah, our well, international night is done uh, uh, with the uh, Maxwell Air Base, their mm -hmm. Air College. Uh, every year a new class of foreign officers yes. come in and uh, at the RSA Commerce Center we ha have a social event with them, meeting and greeting and spending the evening uh, getting to know them better. But there are officers from all over the, uh, the world. Uh, so that's, that's certainly one great event that we do here in Montgomery. Uh, the other, uh, the other aspect of Rotary uh, is the fact that we do, uh, uh, through uh, Rotary International, a project called Polio Plus. Okay. And that, in 1985, Rotary set out to eradicate polio from the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And it has, through uh, foundations and our membership, raised funds to the point where we are on the last few cases of polio, all of them located in the countries of Afghanistan and Pakistan. Mm. When I was in India, uh, that was the, uh, that I think was two years ago, they were declared polio free. Hmm. And when you think about the size of India, right. that's quite oh. an accomplishment. It really well, is. worldwide, too, and we like to say we're this close to eradicating Man. it in the world. And the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have partnered with Rotary mm -hmm. to help this cause. And so we really are this that close. That makes it good. You know, it, it's interesting because obviously my program reaches people basically 50 years of age and older. We understand polio because mm -hmm. as we were children, Polio was, but now, I mean, in the United States, it's virtually disappeared. It, it is not. It is. Yeah, right. it's gone. It has yes. disappeared, mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, f but at the same time, a lot of times countries that are around the world, they don't have that privilege yet. Yeah, they do not. And 
It's one of the most, it's one of my passions is to eradicate poli uh, polio. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, that needs to go away. It's okay. a terrible disease. So our viewers know, because a lot of our viewers are retirees, can they join Rotary if they don't own a business? Look at me. Okay. I'm retired. Well, I know that. Okay. <laughs> but, but that's that's a key because, you know, we talked about it right. being something that for networking. and It is. But, but networking, even retirees or, or people who are young and working, yes. it, it's a great networking place, first of all. Second of all, we do good things. It's one of, mm -hmm. one of the things we do is good things in the world. Like our, our recent fund in, uh, fundraiser, which we call our funny raiser, mm -hmm. uh, raised money to buy a van for both Common Ground and for Boys and Girls Club wow. of the River Region. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're really proud of that. And, and over the years, we've had a, uh, this kind of a fundraiser event for 55 years, I think. Mm -hmm. So if a person, if one of our viewers said, gee, I'd like to become a part of Rotary, what yes. do they have to do? Well, they can, they can call the Montgomery Rotary Club, okay. which is listed. They can go online to montgomeryrotaryclub.com. .com, okay. Uh, they can find us on Facebook. Good. So <laughs> That's all they need to do. That's right. all they need to do. Well, good. Well, listen, we appreciate because I know, because I'm in the same boat, I'm, I'm in the Kiwanis Club, right. but we spend a lot of hours volunteering. We do. And you've always volunteered, Hank, now that you're retired. You're going to be doing a lot more volunteering, I'm sure. I will. And thank you for taking the realm. And just remember, this, the civic organization does and is the backbone of most communities. Rotary has done their part to make sure that Montgomery has a very strong backbone. And we'll be right back right after this.